Normally, I design everything like myself, but this just works so well that I thought it wasn't necessary. My name is Louis Burdell. I'm 14 years old. I'm uh, 3D printing and laser cutting shields for uh, the healthcare workers for the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now we can make 25 uh, of these shields a day and hopefully we can like start to make more, but that's only gonna happen if we can get more materials which are getting increasingly difficult to find around the world. I started making the shields at the beginning of spring break when I was bored just doing stuff around the house and I wanted to kind of do something to make a difference. So I looked up, kind of found some designs I found the uh, 3D printer manufacturer Prusa and they had a design that they were constantly working with and testing with healthcare professionals. Went from there and bought materials and got the resources I needed to get started. I contacted my school about getting 3D printers and they responded right away and said, of course, we would love to help you. And now they've provided me with 3D printers, materials, and hopefully we do a lot, lot more of that. So all the blue pieces, like this bottom piece that gives it more of a shell, that's 3D printed. And the actual headband itself is 3D printed. And it's really, the headband's actually the most important part because you can adjust it to fit anybody's head. And then the front sheet, before we were just using like um, a box cutter and a hole puncher to cut the overall shape. And the, it, it was very time consuming and it, like we, we were all working to do it. And it just, it, we, we couldn't do that for to make 500 of them. A company, Anotech Laser, was willing to make them for free for us. So it kind of speeds everything up, so it's even more of an automated process. I have purchased enough materials to make 500 of the masks, but my goal was really to make 1,000 of the masks. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the materials to do that. Everybody around the world is trying to make these and buying up all the supply for an already diminished market. We were surprised to hear about the need of, of the hospitals um, early on, but then the volume of people who were getting sick started to increase and increase. You know, the, the surprise went away at that point, realizing what the magnitude of the problem was. My mom pa has passed away, was a nurse for her entire career. My mother having been on the front lines during the 40s, 50s, and 60s, taking care of people during wartime and and then my, my brother works at Christiana Hospital in, in Wilmington, treating cancer patients, knowing that people can be protected with this type of equipment has, has made it more personal. It's just exciting because you can have something that you're making and then you can actually like put it out there in the world. And this is a way to do that and actually help some people.